Hey guys, welcome back to the Espresso Ally YouTube channel. And today I want to do a quick overview on the new Windoji eBar app. So they've had the legacy app for quite a while. They do have a beta version that has a couple of improvements in it. And I just wanted to share how to utilize it. Uh, you're going to log into your account the same way as before. We're going to select this black machine. You can see that it automatically connects and it's pretty easy to get in. So a lot of people, they're going to say, I want my old app because I like all my graphs and everything. And I'll show you that here in a second. You still have that functionality, but Windows, they wanted to make some sort of an app that if you're just the day to day, you're not really that interested in some of the graphs and some of the technicalities of the espresso shot. You do still have all those profiles and it's the same profiles that are associated with your more advanced app. So with your machine connected, um, if you wanted to go over to that more legacy, more advanced mode, it's super easy to do so. We're going to start by clicking this. You see this espresso outlet icon in the upper left. And you can see that it has this tab for professional mode. And this isn't really what we're going to go over today because we have quite a few videos on this mode already. But I think a lot of people, they're going to download this app and they're going to want the updated version of the professional mode. And this is how to get to it. So we'll do a video on that another day. But let's go back to the easy mode and just kind of discuss some of the things that they have chosen to do to this. And it's really kind of a nice, easy day to day to use app. Uh, you do have the same disconnect and connect button here at the top. You do have your user account and clicking on your icon. You can see you do have access to all your device settings and some of the other information about your machine. Taking a quick look at the home screen, we do have the M button. So that's whatever your manual shot is going to be set up as. I just have mine set at nine bars. It's really nice for dialing in espresso grinders. And then you have information about your machine. So the first is your steam temperature. Uh, you can see it's about 157. You have your pressure as it's extracting. So if you're trying to dial in that grinder, you can see about how many bars it is extracting at. And then last, we have our boiler temperature. And let's say we wanted to adjust these. You can click this little thermometer icon down at the base, and you can easily toggle on and off boilers. So let's say you don't want to use your steam boiler for a couple weeks or whatever, you can always toggle that off. And it's really easy to change your temperature. So let's change it to like 188. Maybe I got a really light roast that I want to do and click confirm. It'll take a few seconds for it to drop because of the thermal mass, but it will go down to 188 degrees here in a few minutes. So nice and easy to change your temperature. You still have the same cleaning function as before with this little water droplet. It's going to run the pump for five seconds and stop. It'll do that a number of times, three times in this case. And if you wanted to change that, you can click the setup button and it's kind of a shortcut to that deeper setting. Uh, you can access it really easily through there. This is more for using your back blush blind. You can click start and it will do this automatically at the end of the day. Clean out your blind and your setup for the following day. The next icon is our linkage icon. So this will be stuff for like the Bluetooth scale, in this case, the Buku. And in the future, some of the grinders from Windoji, like the Milo Play, you'll be able to link via Bluetooth really easily through that icon right there. I already have quite a few profiles associated with my account, but let's say I want to just go out and see maybe what's new out there. We can click this search icon and it's going to begin by bringing up the most popular. So it's going to see how many people favorite and download, and it will give you some of the curves that they think that you might be most interested in. So like here, we got this lever machine extraction. You can see it's kind of a nice cascade up and smooth down. So you can preview it and you can also download it really easily. Click that download icon. If you're already following some people, you can go over and see if they have added any new profiles. So if you have buddies in the community or you can check out our espresso outlet ones that we have published. Um, if you follow those, it will pop up that there's new ones as they are put out there. There is a search functionality. So if you have something you maybe want to like look up a lever curve you can type in lever curve and as long as that's in the name it's going to pop up as one of the potential curves that you want to download and then last this is all the curves 
And the only reason I wanted to show you this real quick, you can go out and see what other people, maybe they're not really under the popular curves yet, but in the future, they are coming out with new machines. So you can see this is all machines. You have the Data S, the Lita BA, and the Lita BR. So probably for today, most people, they're Data S users. You're probably gonna to wanna to stick underneath that Data S tab. So now let's talk about, let's say you just wanna do one of these profiles. You have the ability to store four main profiles on the main screen. And if you click on one, it's going to tell a little bit of the information. You do have to enter this information as you build the profile. So if it's inaccurate information, it's not gonna be able to search for it as easily. We'll show you that here in a second, but I always tell people always fill out all your information here. Has the overall milliliters, and this, this includes the puck saturation. So if you're new to this, you do have to saturate your puck, and that'll be some moisture that doesn't come out as coffee. It'll just stay within the puck. You do have your pressure, and that's it's going to show you the pressure as it's running, as well as the flow values. So I don't have any coffee in my machine at the moment, but we're gonna go ahead and click start. And you can see that the bars are going to go up and the flow values are there. If you had a scale, it's gonna show the weight. We we'll go ahead and click stop. You can see that it has this icon and it shows it's actually progressing through the shot and you'll kind of know when your extraction is done. So let's say you don't want these curves. You have these four favorites, but you're wanting to change it up. You can click the more curves, and these are all the curves that you've downloaded. Let's find one. Let's do this hand drip curve. What you can do is you can actually click it, and it's going to pop up. And if you drag it over to one of these buttons, now you have that new curve as one of your main favorite curves. So really easy to change things up if you wanted. Uh, but you just have those four main curves on the main screen. If you're just wanting to run it manual, you can hide the menu, show the menu. And the last thing that they have added is this fast match curve. So I mentioned a minute ago, it's really important to enter all that information as you build the curves. If it's better for a light roast or a dark roast, make sure to enter all of that. But you have this new functionality to search for curves, and these are curves that you've downloaded, and it gives you the ability for light roast, medium, medium dark, and dark, as well as blend and single origin. So let's click medium and single origin, and click fast match. From the profiles that I've previously downloaded, it thinks that these four profiles are going to probably best suit my needs for those coffees that I'm looking to extract. So I think that's it for today. Again, it's a pretty simple app. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to want to go back to the professional mode. And that's usually what I run on the day to day. I've actually been playing with the simplified mode. And if I'm not really wanting to geek out on coffee, it is kind of handy. Uh, it'd be really handy for maybe family members that aren't as into coffee or just want to wake up and use the espresso machine, but not have to fiddle with all the extra functions, they can go over to that more basic mode. But I think that's all for today. I just wanted to do a quick overview. It's been a pretty short video. If you have any questions on this espresso machine or this new app, make sure to leave the comments below and we'll get back to you here pretty soon. But I think that's all for today. So thanks for watching.